In this video, let's explore few properties of an equilateral triangle using origami. Origami is an art of paper folding. The basic idea is taken from Sri Sundararao Sir's book written in 1800s. The equilateral triangle can be divided into four congruent equilateral triangles. This is an equilateral triangle which has got uh, three perpendicular bisectors to all the three sides and the meeting point let us call it as O. Let's see the congruency of uh, two triangles. We have six right angle triangles inside this equilateral triangle. We are seeing the congruency test for these two right angle triangles. We found that One side is common and these two sides have become equal in both the triangles. Let us see origami test for the third side of this triangle and we found that they are also overlapping. So all the three sides of both the triangles are equal. So these two triangles have become congruent. Now let's see the corner of this square on the left side and that is 90 degrees and the leftover part after the triangle we overlap that part onto the triangle and we found that all the three are equal parts so each one is 30 degrees hence we found the second angle of the right angle triangle inside the equilateral triangle so this is 90 degrees because it is a perpendicular and let us find out the third angle of the triangles. For that we will see two more triangles congruency. These two sides are overlapping hence they are same equal and the center one is common for both the triangles. And now let us see the third side of the these triangles. Yes, they are also overlapping. So all the three sides of both the triangles are equal. So these two also are congruent. And hence all these three triangles are also congruent and all the six triangles also are congruent. So at the center they are forming six equal triangles. So we have 360 degrees divided by six which is equal to 60 degrees at the center. So we got the third angle also of the right angle triangle. So one is 30 degrees, the other one is 60 and the third one is 90. So they are 30 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees of this right angle triangle inside the equilateral triangle. So they are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. This is the angles ratio. Now. Let's see one more property of this equilateral triangle. These are the angles we have found just now. And now let us see the perpendicular bisector overlap from the center, from the base as shown and mark it. And let us see the overlapping of the vertex towards the point O and mark it. Yes, they are exactly overlapping. These are the three equal parts. So on the top of this point O, it is of two units and the length of the perpendicular bisector below that point O, let us call it as one unit. So here is a marking. as all the six right angle triangles are congruent inside the equilateral triangle. So this also becomes one unit. We have proved the Pythagorean theorem in of the, one of the videos in the same channel. So now we are going to find the third 
side of this right angle triangle using the Pythagoras theorem. So hypotenuse square minus opposite side square under root equals the third side. So that's root 3. We got the third side length and it is marked. Now let's see the ratio of these sides, lengths. 1 is nothing but root 1 and 2 can be written as root 4 and the third one is root 3, what we found. Hence, the sides ratio comes to root 1 is to root 3 is to root 4. Now let's check up one more property and now the perpendicular bisectors which have divided each side of the equilateral triangle into two equal parts and taking two such points at a time let us join them with a crease as shown. We got one side let's do the same thing creasing between two more midpoints of the sides of the equilateral triangle in this way and we got one more creasing and the third set of two points which are the centers of the sides of the original equilateral triangle and we got a third side creased. Let's highlight them to make it more visible. Now let's see the new triangle. By overlapping the top part of the triangle side onto the newly formed triangle's side and found that those two sides are equal. And let's do the same thing with the other side of the top part of the triangle onto the one part of the newly formed triangle and we found that that also is an equilateral triangle. Now let's see the new triangle also is equilateral or not. For that the top triangle is exactly overlapped by folding onto it and we found that they are exactly coinciding so let's test two more times by overlapping and the other triangles onto the central triangle yes they are coinciding so these two also are equilateral triangles and now see the third side so we found that uh, as it is overlapping all the four triangles are equilateral triangles and all are of equal area and coinciding so now what we can arrive at is the new triangle is equal to one fourth of the original full triangle. So the original triangle has got four equilateral triangles. So we can find the rhombus formed. Let's name it as ABCD. In origami method, we found that all these sides are equal we can find one more rhombus on the same base as shown. Happy folding viewers.